Tonight at 11, just over a month since the crash that killed a Garner family of three, the man investigators say was responsible is out of the hospital and in jail. Mm. This is our first look at Jordan Porter's mugshot. He's facing multiple charges, including second degree murder. Officers say his actions that day killed a young mother and father and their eight year old son. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lena Tillette. And I'm Gerald Owens. This crash really hit the community hard with multiple vigils and memorials for the family. Tonight, we have team coverage of this new development and how officers hope to prevent another tragedy as we head into another holiday season. We begin with WRL's Willie Danley live at the Wake County Detention Center. That's where the suspect is being held tonight, Willie. Yes, Gerald, I'm standing here at the Wake County Correctional Center. This is where 25 year old Jordan Porter is being held this evening. He's out of the hospital and in custody tonight. This is a photo of Jordan Porter. He is facing numerous charges, including three counts of second degree murder and reckless driving in addition to driving while impaired. This is video of what that crash scene looked like on Memorial Day. Porter was driving a Chevy Trailblazer traveling west on US 70 when he ran a red light hitting the Campbell family's Mazda. Tyler and Susan Campbell died at the scene. Their son, Miles, was taken to the hospital where he later died. Porter's bond was set at $3 million by a judge on, July, on June 5th. His wife told investigators that the couple was aware that the car he was driving was in need of repair work. Warrants showed that he was drinking and smoking before that crash. WRL's Carly Haynes has been in Garner today, pushing police for more information about the crash. Carly, you sat down with one officer who said he's still struggling with the details. And Willie, we're heading into another holiday weekend <clears throat> where there could be more drunk drivers. So we rode along with Garner Police Department to see how they're working to prevent future tragedies like this from happening. The crash that killed that Garner family of three on Memorial Day still gets to Officer Clayton Armstrong with Garner Police. And then those are the ones that you wish, you know, like, well, why couldn't I have caught that one before it happened? That's his goal, looking for swerving, speeding, or other signs of drunk driving before disaster happens. Typically, on average, excluding the first of this or the first half of this year, um, once a shift I would get a, a, a drunk driver. And the odds go up over a holiday weekend with more people traveling and drinking. Police agencies around the state, including Garner, will step up their patrols over the next week, part of the state's Booze It and Lose It program. Law enforcement partners have looked at the data, and each of them will be addressing that issue uh, differently based on what they've seen in the past. Hoping that even a minor traffic stop uh, yeah. could be all it takes to prevent a tragedy. If they would have gotten involved in an accident and injured somebody or, or killed somebody, I'll never know that, um, but there's a possibility. And you can expect to see more patrols all over North Carolina, not just in Garner, until July 7th. Carly Haynes, WRL News, live in Garner. And WRL has had extensive coverage of that Memorial Day crash and the investigation that ensued. To read more about the family, go to WRL.com.